All right, so today we're gonna talk about lids. And so there are basically two kinds of lids for pots. There's a lid like this, which has a flange that goes down. Right, you see that? So this lid has a flange that goes down. And so we won't be making one of these today, but I have another video that I'll, that I'll post that you guys can see on how to make this kind of lid. Right, and this has a flange that goes down like that. Here's three examples of that sort of lid that has like a little thing that helps lock it into place. You guys see that? The other kind of lid is a lid that has, um, where the pot has a gallery like this, right? So let's get down super close so you guys can see it really well, right? So this pot has what we call a gallery, and the gallery is this guy right here, right? You see this little space right here? It has a little space, and so the lid then will come along, and it helps lock it down. You see that? And so the lid doesn't fall off, right, if you wiggle it around. And there's a couple different kinds of lids that have galleries uh, that require a gallery. And so there's a lid like that, right, that fits on so it doesn't fall off, right? And then this lid is made actually upside down. So we throw this lid like this, and then you can see there's a line here. We trim all this part where my finger is off, and then we end up with this lid here. You guys see that? And then that will fit on top like this. And then we'll add a knob, we'll trim this and make that. So for today, we're gonna make these two types of lids for a pot that has a gallery, okay? And these are made a little bit differently. So the reason why these pots need a gallery, because you can make a lid that, you can make a pot without a gallery and then a lid without a flange, right? But then you'll end up in this sort of situation, right? Where it, it neither has a gallery on the on the body and it doesn't have a flange on the pot, right? So this is the flange that sticks down, right? So you can see if it fits in there, it locks itself in pretty good, right? But if it doesn't have either one of those, when you have your pot and you start walking around with it, that lid just can slide off, you see that? There's nothing to hold it on there, right? So you can make this kind of lid that has no flange or gallery, but that means that it just falls off the minute so if you're really careful, you know that you have to pick it up. But if your friends come over and they pick it up quickly, it could end up falling on the floor and it breaks and everybody's sad at your house, right? So usually lids have a flange or a gallery, right? So this one goes like that. We talked about that just right now. And then this guy locks in. So today we are gonna make this kind of lid. This has a gallery in there. So let's look at some real world examples here. Push all that aside. So here is one, these are two very similar examples here. So here, this one has a lid and then doo, 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 you can see has that guy sticking out. So this lid here is the same as this lid here, the construction, you see that? And then this guy settles in and then we look inside, woohoo, there's the gallery, right? Boop. So we're at rest, so I'll show you how to make that. And then here's a very similar one. Blum, 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 blum. Look at that, fits into that gallery space. So these lids are generally really fun to make and there's something great about making lidded vessels, right? So today we're gonna make one that has a gallery.